Good morning, Facebook. We're so glad to see you this morning. Welcome to your 8 a.m. Everyday Until experience. Hello, Instagram. Welcome to EDU, our 8 a.m. experience. Um, we are here every day on the wall, absolutely every day. We will not stop until God tells us to do so. Um, the music that you hear, maybe I need to turn it up a little bit, is Worth Fighting For by Brian Courtney Wilson. So again, welcome. We thank you. Please like, comment, and share. Um, I don't think I said my name. I am Latrice Peoples. I um, serve at Amazing Church. I belong to Amazing Church. I like saying that I belong to Amazing Church. Um, but I serve at Amazing Church. I'm one of the people on the prayer team. I'm one of the people um, that serves on our simulation team. So when you get connected, um, I'm one of the people that you'll likely talk to. So I'm so glad you're here this morning. Um, we have church every day. Isn't that awesome? We have church every day, absolutely every day. And we've been doing this since March. Um, tag someone that you know, um, so get them up, get them in. I know that it's New Year's Eve and a lot of people are probably off, but um, get up. Let's get started. What better way to start our day than to come together and pray and talk to our one and true living God, the one that knows absolutely everything, the one that loves you like no one else can. Let's get up and talk to him. Like I said, like, comment, share, tag. We thank you. Um, ambassadors, we have people all over the country who join us and we are so glad about that. We're gonna be having another ambassadors training, I believe at the end of January, but you'll receive um, information about that in the days to come. Let us know your city and your state and your country. We wanna know where you're from. Um, we are here in McKinney, but um, we thank, we. We are so appreciative that we've expanded and you all are like joining in from so many different places. It's a beautiful thing to see and we welcome you. Um, we are on the wall and for those of you who are new on the wall, we say that because there is the Welling Wall in the city of Jerusalem. And every day, 24 seven, it never stops. People are at that wall praying, putting, writing their prayers down, putting, in, putting them in the cracks and crevices um, of the wall. And so that's what we are doing. We are here every day. Like I said, we started in March. And when will we stop? When the Lord tells us to do otherwise. So until then, we are here having church, praying every day. You get to come to church every day. Invite someone. Why not? We say the breakthrough is found on the other side of consistency. So be consistent. Um, you've heard us say um, over and over again, if you just take one thing and be consistent in that one thing, then it'll expand. We believe that it'll expand and it'll grow into other areas of your life. So join us every day, eight o'clock. Um, we have, like I said, we have people praying everywhere. Oh, and if you have a prayer request, you can put it in the comments if you are on Facebook or Instagram, put it in the comments and, um, and we will pray for you. Our prayer team, our pastors, we come through all of the comments and we pray for everyone who posts something on the wall. Um, if your prayer is too sensitive or you feel I'm going to turn our music down in a little bit, I don't think that I said this before, but it is Brian Courtney Wilson worth fighting for. We don't own the rights to it, but I love this song. Um, everything about this song, the words. I don't know if, you, if you've been with us a while, you know that we really enjoy words. We take our words seriously. And so um, I like these, the words to this song. There's so much more still worth fighting for. So like I said, if you have a prayer request and you do not want to put it on the wall, if it's sensitive, um, if you are on Facebook, there is a link that should be pinned there that is um, what you can click on and send us your prayer request and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Someone from, our, from one of our pastors or someone from our prayer team, we will respond to you. 
If it requires faith-filled instructions, we will give you those. We believe in the power of prayer. We know that prayer works. It absolutely works. God is faithful, so we will pray with you. We will pray for you, and we will give you instruction. If you're on Instagram or one of the callers on our caller, if you're watching this by YouTube, you can send an email to admin at amazing church. That's admin at amazingchurch.com and send us an email with your prayer and we will pray with you. Again, um, welcome. I thank you for being here. This is our EDU 8 a.m. experience. Um, we are here every day. Um, I'm here to give you inspiration, motivation, and application. If you're new, you're saying, Latrice, what does that mean? Inspiration, we say inspiration because all scripture is given by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. This is God's word. All of it is his word. So it's inspired. It's inspired by God. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Motivation. What does motivation mean? It's a timeless principle. It's like, what is God saying to us? Um, the whole word, the, the entire Bible is given by inspiration of God. Um, so we take the word and we we um, we talk to God and ask him, what is he saying? What is he saying to us? What does it mean? And then lastly, application. How do you apply the word? We know that applying God's word today will cause us to live life a better way. We say that your life may be good, but it can always be better. Always. It can always be better. If you're living your best life right now, just think. You serve a God that can make it great. If you're not happy with your life right now, if you're having challenges, you know that you serve a living God who cares and who can make your life better. And he makes it easy for us because he gives us his word. He lays out instructions for us. Um, he communes with us. He talks to us. He wants to spend time with us. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So inspiration, the word of God. What is he saying today? So your inspiration today, let me see someone say today, 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 today. Let's see today. Your inspiration today is coming from 1 Thessalonians 5. And I like this chapter. I realized um, when I was talking to God last night and early this morning that I love exhortation. So 1 Thessalonians 5 is, is, is an exhortation from the Apostle Paul um, to the church, the church at Thessalonica. And he is, when you read all of this, we're gonna focus on chapters on uh, verse 17. Again, it's first, first Thessalonians 5 and 17. We're gonna focus on 17, but I encourage you to go and read. We always read before the scripture so that we understand the context and we read after to see what happens. You want to make sure that you're not just pulling something out of the word of God and, and misappropriating it, that, uh, that you're applying it um, correctly. And that's what we stand on. So 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17 says in the King James, and if you're like me, old school, that's where I learned King James, but it says pray without ceasing. The New Living Translation says, never stop praying. So I went through all, I like to go through a lot of different translations to see if it gives me a different insight, um, if it gives me um, a different revelation. But New Living Translation says, never stop praying. Amplified uh, Classic says, be unceasing in prayer, praying perseveringly. Never stop praying. That's simply what it says, never stop praying. So let's break it down. Our motivation today. What is God saying? <laughs> Easy. Don't stop praying. Now is not the time to give up. Now is not the time to quit. Do not stop. If you've been joining us every day since March, continue. Invite other people. Don't give up. Keep praying. Keep confessing the word. Do not stop your motivation, the scripture broken down, it's easy, never. What does never mean? Never, never, unending. Um, stop, don't stop praying, you're talking to God. So do not stop talking to God. This song, it's worth fighting for. You've been hearing us say since March, it's worth the drive, this is worth it. 
You know that we're in this time um, where we're entrenched in the word of God, where we're doing what God tells us to do. We're entrenched in our obedience to him. It is, it is, it's such a magnificent time. It will be worth it. It will be worth it. Do not give up. I said, I love exhortation. I do. I encourage you do not give up. Stay with it. Um, I heard someone say, probably it was Pastor Derek, but if it ain't good yet, then God ain't done. If it, I know that's ain't, it's bad language. So let me just say it this way. If it is not good yet, then our God is not done. He is faithful, forever faithful. And he loves you so much that he wants to see you succeed. He's laid it all out. We're in a fixed fight. God already won it for us. He's already won it for us. We always have the victory. No matter what, sometimes it, it looks different to us, but trust me, God has given us the victory. Stick with it. Stay with it. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 says, never stop praying. You've got to go back and read before and after he, Paul gives such encouragement um, to these people. And just think, they were living in a time where they could be um, killed, um, not, not just talk bad about, but actually murdered for believing in the one and true living God, murdered. Here, we don't have that in the U.S. We may be persecuted. People may talk about us, but that's nothing compared to what they endured. So remember, never stop praying. Do not stop. So what are we going to do today? Our application today, don't stop. Don't stop. We are, we are in such a pivotal time. You don't want to stop before your breakthrough comes. We say that pray, um Breakthrough is found on the other side of consistency. We know that the race isn't given to the swift, but it's given to those of us who endure. So stay with it. Let patience have her perfect work so that you may be perfect and entire, lacking nothing. Um, just stay with it. The word is full of um, full of encouragement and, and edification and exhortation, telling us to hang in there and to stay with it. It says, also tells us that those who faint in a day of adversity, that their strength is small. We don't have small strength. We're staying with this thing. We're, um, we're getting in there. We're being fervent in our prayers. Um, we're staying and listening to God and doing what he says. I promise you it'll pay off. How can I promise you that? How can I be so confident in what I'm telling you? It's because it's not me that's fulfilling the promise. It's God, the one and true living God. Remember, he's all powerful. He's all knowing. He created everything that existed just in his words. Think how powerful that is. And then he gave us that. We can create things with, with our words. Um, so just stay with it. Pray. What is prayer? You're like, Latrice, I don't know how to pray. Um, how do I do that? Um, what is it? Well, if you don't know the the stru structure, don't it's communication with God. It's communication with the Father. Um, like I said, the one who loves you and um, like no one else can. The one who wants to take care of you. The one that wants to talk to you and spend time with you. Um, like people, people that you love, you enjoy spending time with them. I love hanging out with my husband. Um, I love hanging out with, um, with my friends and with my family and with our children and grandchildren. I mean, I just, I enjoy it. And so the same thing is with God. He, I know he loves me. I enjoy spending time with him. I know that he's with me wherever I go. And the same is true for you. He is no respecter of persons. So we're going to pray right now. Your inspiration today, 1 Thessalonians 5.17, I encourage you to read the entire chapter of, um, um, of 1 Thessalonians 5. Um, what does it say? Never stop praying. Um, your motivation, what is he saying? He's saying don't stop praying. Your application today, don't stop. 
So let's pray. Let's just go ahead and get into it. We're going to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your goodness and your mercy, that your mercies are new every morning, Father God. We are able to come to you, and right now, that's what we do. We confess our sins, Father God. Anything that we've done that was displeasing to you, anything that was that we've done or said or thought that was out of line with who you've created us to be, Father God, we confess it. Anything that you told us to do that we did not do, we confess it, Father God, and anything... Um, uh, that we did do, Father God, that you said, don't, don't, don't. We confess it as sin, Father God, and we thank you because we know that when we confess our sins to you, Father God, you are faithful and you are just to cleanse us of all unrighteousness, Father God. You forgive us and you cleanse us of all unrighteousness, Father God. We know that there are times that we've done wrong. We know that there are times that we have thought wrong, Father God, and we just confess it all to you, Father God. We lay it all out. We put it all out there, Father God, so that the meditations of our heart and the words of our mouth will be acceptable in, our, in your sight, Father God. We want to be pleasing to you. Search us, Father God. Search our hearts, Father, in Jesus name. We thank you, Father, for open communication with you. You said that man ought to always pray, and we will always pray, Father God. We will always seek your face. We will always honor your presence, Father, in Jesus' name. You said never stop praying. We will not stop communicating with you, Father God. We know that you have this. We know that you caused us to triumph, Father God, and we thank you for that, Father. We thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit that guides us into all truth, Father, and we thank you that the fruits of the Spirit are manifested through us as we go about our day, Father, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, goodness, temperance, and faith are operating through us right now in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father. We thank you for causing us to be your righteousness, Father. You called us your righteousness. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you, Father, for giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways, that your angels bear us up in their hands so we don't dash our feet against the stone. I please the blood of Jesus over us, Father, as we go about our day everywhere we are, everyone we're with, and all of our family members and our friends. I thank you, Father God, for divine healing. We have been praying since March about this pandemic and COVID-19, coronavirus. We thank you, Father, that this is no surprise to you, that it was not a surprise to you, Father God, that it was not a shocker, that it was not a stinger, but you already knew, Father. And the awesome thing is that you are all powerful, Father. So we ask, we confess, we continue to say, Father, we continue to ask you to clear this thing out, to wipe it out, Father, in Jesus' name, that by Jesus' stripes we were healed. And if we were healed those thousands and thousands of years ago when he died on the cross for us and then he rose again, Father God, that cleared us. Corona, COVID, is covered under the blood in Jesus' name. So we thank you, Father God, and we speak to those bodies that need healing, not just from corona, whatever it is, Father God, a common headache, a common cold, common colds aren't aren't common to us. We don't receive that. We don't sign for that dumb package. We don't receive any of that stuff, Father God. Our bodies are meant to be healthy and whole, Father. Continue to teach us and give us wisdom in how to take care of these temples that you've given us, Father God. The temples in where your Holy Spirit dwell in Jesus' name. So we thank you, Father God, for teaching us how to care for ourselves. We thank you, Father God, for keeping us happy, healthy, and whole in every area of our lives, Father God, in every aspect in our spirit, in our soul, which is our mind, our will, and our emotions, Father God, our thoughts, our intellect, and in our physical bodies, Father God. We know that we're three parts, but we thank you, Father God, that we serve you, an all-powerful God who can keep all of our parts happy, healthy, and whole in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father God, for those people um, for anyone who may um, who may need um, who may need employment, who may need a career shift, I thank you, Father God, for surrounding them with your favor is with the shield and for opening doors of opportunity for them that no man can close. Father, overwhelm them, give them choices, give them options. I thank you, Father God, that their gifts make room for them. And I thank you, Father, that as you open doors for them, that you give them a holy boldness to walk through the doors and not just walk through the doors, but to excel when they walk through, to honor you in their work, Father God, to honor you in their careers, to honor you even if they're going to school, Father God, to honor you in that. I thank you, Father God, that we have the mind of Christ, Father, and because we have the mind of Christ, we know all things and we hear you clearly, Father God, that we are your sheep and we hear your voice and the voice of a stranger we will not follow. We are doers of your word and 
and not just hear is only. We refuse to just hear your word and do nothing about it. We know faith without works is dead, being alone. So we put, we exercise our faith, Father, because we know that it's pleasing to you, but that is how we live. You said the just shall live by faith. So we thank you, Father God, for your word, and we will put your word into actions. And we thank you, Father God, that as we continue to confess your word out of our mouths, as we continue to um, to do your word, to exercise your word, Father God, that your angels are listening to us for you said that your angels hearken unto the voice of the word of God. So the word that we speak, Father, your angels dispatch and they go out and perform the word that we speak. And we thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus name. I pray for every family that's on this call, anyone that's attached to us, Father, in Jesus name. I thank you for supplying all of their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I thank you, Father, that your MO is that you always go above and beyond what we can ask, think, or imagine according to the power that works within us. So I thank you, Father God, for also giving us the desires of our heart as we continue to delight ourselves in you. We know that as believers, Father God, you've instilled in us desires, Father. And so we thank you for giving us the desires of our heart. I thank you, Father God, just for being with us and for continuing to um, manifest yourself in our lives, Father God, right now in Jesus' name. All of the people, um, the, the frontline workers, those people who are caring for us day in and day out, Father God, I thank you. I speak blessing over them. For you said that you would bless them who bless us, Father God. So I ask that you bless them, the doctors, the researchers, Father God, the people funding um, the research, Father, in Jesus' name, um, the people administering vaccines, Father God, the people that are... Um, caring for not just COVID patients, but all patients, Father, all the doctors, all the nurses, all the practitioners, Father. Um, thank you for all of them, Lord. And as they continue to bless us, overwhelm them with your blessing, Father God. And I thank you for them. Continue to strengthen them in their inner man by your spirit. Enlighten the eyes of their understanding. Give them your peace that surpasses all understanding, Father God. And give them your wisdom, supernatural. That's the only kind of wisdom that you can administer is your supernatural wisdom, Father God. So give them wisdom in Jesus' name. We pray for our government, Father, right now. You say pray for those who have rule over us, who have authority, Father. And I ask that you give them godly wisdom wisdom and that you surround them with godly counsel and that you give them a holy boldness to follow what you're saying to follow in Jesus name. We know that you cause all things to work together for our good. So it doesn't matter what we see with our eyes, Father God. We're not moved by what we see. We're only moved by what we believe and we believe in the power of God. We believe in the, your word, Father God. That is the ultimate source. You are the ultimate power, Father God. Your word is the highest form of reality in Jesus' name. It is your word, Father God. It is your power, not what we see, but what we believe in Jesus' name. And so I thank you, Father God. I thank you for manifesting your power, Father. You said you inhabit the praises of your people. So as we continue to praise you, Father God, as we never stop praying, Father, we thank you for always inhabiting our praises. We thank you for saturating our lives with your love and with your power. We thank you, Father God, for manifesting, for showing yourself strong, Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for every prayer request that is on the wall, Father, that as we as we read them and as we pray, Father, that you are answering and that you answer swiftly, Father. We ask you to not tarry, but that you answer quickly. We know that you always answer, Father God. You always answer us. And for that, we are forever grateful. We thank you, Lord. Father, we pray for all of the men and women of God who preach the word of God, who teach us the word of God, that you continue to set watch over their mouths and keep the doors of their lips so that they only speak your word, Father God. Continue to provide to, for them, just as I said, with the frontline workers. Um, you bless them who bless us. I ask that you bless them, Father God. Give them all that they need and all that they desire in Jesus' name just as they give us all that we need to live happy, healthy, whole lives, Father, just as they teach us and care for us and care for our, look after our souls, Father. I thank you for caring for them and looking after them, Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father God, for your continued favor that surrounds us like a shield. And because of your continued favor, Father God, we don't have the same um, experiences as other people, 
We know that you're no respect of persons, but we do know that you do show favor for um, for obedience. You said obedience is better than sacrifice, and we will do what you say, Father God. We make it up. We have made up in our minds to follow you, to do exactly what you tell us to do. And we thank you for the manifestation of that. We love you, Father God. We give you glory. We're going to continue talking to you throughout the day about everything. Um, we will not stop praying in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father God, for always being available and always being open and always listening, Father God, and always answering. In Jesus' name, amen. So I thank you so much, callers. Thank you for being here. Um, Facebook, Instagram, thank you so much for being here. Remember, we are here every day and we will not stop until God tells us to stop. We will not stop until God tells us to stop. So we thank you. Don't forget, your inspiration was 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. And what is God saying? And what's the application? Don't stop praying. Do not stop praying. Do not stop praying. Thank you so much. See you back here tomorrow morning. Remember, we are here every day. So join us. Invite someone. Invite someone. Today is New Year's Eve. We're concluding a calendar year. Um, we're starting into a new year, whatever the year brings. We know that God causes it to work together for our good, no matter what it looks like. If it looks great, we know that it'll be greater. If it doesn't look great, if it looks not so great, we know that he's going to make it great. So join us tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's New Year's Day, but just as you saw us here on Christmas, we will be here New Year's Day. Thank you all for joining us. Have a great day, callers. Thank you for being here. We'll talk to you again tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. We love you. Um, Instagram, thank you so much for being here. I say Miss Irma and Keisha and Mama Katie. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Um, again, see you tomorrow, 8 a.m.